Sheldon Marsh is located on U.S. Route 6 between the cities of Sandusky and Huron, Ohio. Sheldon Marsh Nature Preserve is located along Cleveland Road just west of the Sawmill Creek Golf Course. This is Cleveland Road. And here is the parking lot at Sheldon Marsh. This is the entryway, and you're supposed to exit this way. Now there's two paved walkways. And then there's various trails that meander through the woodlands. There's many more trees over here, so it's difficult to see the paths. Here's a maintenance building, and there's a porta potty located about in here. Here's an observation deck overlooking the marsh area. And here's the end of the main trail. This is a uh, building containing pumps that used to supply water to the Plum Brook Ordnance. Uh, area, which is now the Plumbrook Station of NASA. This area here is the Plumbrook NASA Station, where research on space-bound equipment is done. During World War II, this was the Plumbrook Ordnance Works, where TNT was manufactured. The pump building at Sheldon Marsh feeds water to Plumbrook through a rather large pipeline about five miles long. This historical marker is located at the edge of the parking lot at Sheldon's Marsh. The original road to Cedar Point ran through Sheldon Marsh and then across here. This area was washed out in a storm. A new road was then built from Cleveland Road to this point. And out here is Cedar Point. Later, a causeway was built from the city of Sandusky to Cedar Point. The walkway from the parking lot to the end is approximately a mile long. And then you can walk another mile or more along the beach. There are two observation decks along the trail. This one is in the shade, and the other one is out in the open in the bright sunlight. Here is the second observation deck.
Near the end of the paved walkway, we come to a boardwalk headed into the woods. At the end of the boardwalk, we come to the beach and a nice view of Lake Erie. In the distance, you can see some of the rides at Cedar Point. This is the building that houses the pumps that feed the pipeline to Plumbrook Station. There are many squirrels and chipmunks here. They're always looking for a handout. There are a lot of different kinds of birds. There's a female cardinal. There are many blue jays also looking for handouts. There's a red-headed woodpecker. In the marsh area, there uh, are often herons and egrets. There are also woodchucks, also known as groundhogs, always eager for a handout. This bird is called a coot. There's a mink. There's snakes mating. And one morning when there was virtually no one at Sheldon Marsh, I found this in the walkway. I wanted to see how close I could get.
I thought it had run into the woods and disappeared, but as I walked on, I found it standing just off the roadway. It's eating leaves. Animals that eat leaves and twigs and bark are called browsers. As you can see, Sheldon Marsh is a beautiful place. So you might be wondering where the danger is. In a moment here we'll, sh we'll see. The main trail through Sh Sheldon Marsh is lined on both sides with poison ivy. Poison ivy can be a ground plant, it can grow to be a bush six or seven feet tall, and it can climb up trees. I know a doctor who has treated five people for poison ivy that they got at Sheldon Marsh. And this is only the beginning of July. Poison ivy gets green berries initially, and they turn a grayish white in the fall. Birds eat those berries and distribute it through their feces. So they can create new poison ivy plants not only here, but anywhere that they might fly over. Under the Show More tab, uh, I've listed some sites with information about poison ivy and also information on how to contact the director of Ohio Natural Resources to see if something can be done about this poison ivy. It's causing suffering to many people who are unaware of it. Even a warning sign would be welcome. Here's poison ivy up near the parking lot. It's almost continuous on both sides of the trail. And here it is growing up both the tree in the foreground and the one in the background. Some people get it without even touching it. Please help. 